Hey guys, Crystal here at Crystal's Crafties. Today we are going to assemble the cake topper that I showed you guys how to design in Inkscape. What you need to assemble it, um, you need your design all cut out. I've got um, the three and the base layers here and then my little embellishments, Tatum and the ice cream cone here. You're gonna need all of that cut out. You're gonna need some spray glue. Really any kind is fine, but I like this because you can use it for permanent adhesion and um, temporary adhesion, which is cool. Some tweezers, uh, they don't have to be Cricut tweezers. They can be the tweezers that you pluck your eyebrows with, it doesn't matter. The little sticks so that you can put this on top of your cake. You're gonna need um, some foam dots. These are um, double-sided sticky and they're dimensional dots. They're, they're what give your project the 3D um, look. And you're gonna need a glue gun. Um, I have lined my table with parchment paper because when you're working with this spray glue, I mean, it's like spray paint. It, it has a splatter and I don't want it on my table. Okay, um, let's dive in. When we created this design in Inkscape, um, I told you that you needed to build from the top down to, to create the design, but when we're putting it together, we're actually going to assemble from the bottom up when we get to this big chunk. I'm going to set this aside for right now because we need to work on these littler pieces first. These are the ones you're going to glue together. Anything that you don't want the three-dimensional look on you need to glue together. And that's gonna be your small little parts like the name, the decoration, whether you've got an ice cream cone, you've got a unicorn, trolls, dinosaurs, whatever you've got going. You'll want to glue those together. So I'm gonna put my ice cream cone aside for now. And that this is where your tweezers come in. Um, you need them to help you place the items because this can get a little sticky. Okay, so first of all, shake up your glue. It's going to be loud. Hold on. But you want to give it a good shake up. And then just lightly spray your entire base that you're going to glue your other thing to. And don't get super close to it. Just come up here and spray it. And then kind of quickly you need to get your other thing placed. Now I'm going to use my tweezers because this is not exactly where I want it. And you see how I'm just kind of poking it down with my tweezers? I'm just kind of pushing on it. Okay, now I need to get the T. And then I poke her down. Okay, and now the difference with my Elmer's glue here, I had to do this quickly. If you want a permanent bond, which I do, you need to act within 15 seconds of spraying it. If you want a temporary bond, you spray this glue on and you let it wait for two or three minutes and then you put your other layer on and um, it will still be slightly tacky, but it won't create a permanent bond. Um, this is optional. You don't have, I'm just using this as kind of like a roller to really roll that on there. Okay, now Tatum is done. You can set her aside. Now I need to build this ice cream. Okay. It's hard for you to see the base layer because it's gray and it's going on top of this, but it's there. So I'm going to spray it, give some shakes. I'm going to move my sticks out of the way. Okay. Stick the bottom of my cone on. And then I need to spray my cones so that I can get my waffle pattern on. And again, you just need to kind of work quickly. Tweezers are super helpful for these little tiny bits. Okay. All right. 
Now I'm going to place my big chunk on top. I'm going to use this stick again to kind of roll and get everything on there. <laughs> Do you see all the glue that I just got on my stick? This stuff is super sticky. I mean, it's going to it's going to be permanent when you're done. One more spray for the toppings. Okay, and now my ice cream cone is done. I'm going to pick it up with this. Okay. And if there's, you see that on the side, just, just peel that right off. It's no big deal. Okay, so there's the ice cream cone all done. And now I can get rid of this parchment paper um, because it's sticky. So those guys are done. Oh, I didn't put the sprinkles on my ice cream. The sprinkles are in here. Um, I think I'm going to come back and do that in a little bit. I've got a lot of glue going on right here, and I just kind of want to get rid of it. Okay. I'm going to pause while I clean this off. Okay, so now we're back, and we're going to put together our main layers. Um, something I do want to mention. Earlier when I was using this to roll, um, you would need to get a new stick to put in your cake. You don't want any of this glue to actually be inside the cake. Um, so just think on that for a second. Okay, so I'm going to take off my top, all my other layers, and I pick up already. I am just going to work with my base layer. And I'm going to get my little dimensional dots, and I'm just going to place them sporadically kind of on here. You need enough to hold your design. Let's see. They're different sizes. Um, the littler ones are good for smaller parts of your design. But it really, really doesn't matter. You're not going to see these. But I want to make sure this is really, really on there. So I'm putting quite a few on here. I'm probably going overboard, but okay. So there they all are. They're stuck on there. And now I need to come and peel the top layers off of all of them. Okay. Um, sometimes the tops are a little hard to get off. I'm going to use my tweezers. Okay, there's one. And you want to give it just a minute to um, actually adhere to your paper backing before you start trying to take these tops off, or else you're just going to peel the whole dot up. And now I need to put my white layer on, I think. Let's see. Yes. <laughs> okay. So you're just going to kind of eyeball it. Um, you want to be as precise as you possibly can because you don't, you don't want to do a lot of moving around um, once, once you lay it down. You're going to lose stickiness the more you move it around. And then just kind of push it down. Um, you can see one of my dots is showing. And that's something you need to think about. I thought I had it up far enough, but it's okay because this three is not going to cover it. And neither is that one. Not so. Okay, just be real careful when you're putting your dots so that that doesn't happen to you. I've got to go move this dot. It's not, it's not an easy task. When my vacuum cleaner is coming on. I'm going to move that later. What I need to do is peel up this back part and just squish that dot in. But I want to put it all together first and then do it so that I'm not bending pieces of the design. Okay, so now it's time to put the pink on. So again, we're going to place our dots. Kind of push these down. 
and then start peeling off their tops. Okay, now it's time to put the pink down. Okay. Okay, so that one's on. And you can see we're already getting that um, 3D look and feel to this thing. It's going to look really nice when we're done. Okay, um, if you have a glitter layer, you want it to be at the top. It's hard to get these to stick really good to this glitter cardstock. So I don't suggest making your bottom or any of these other layers um, the glitter layer. So we're going to put our three here. Then we're going to put our Tatum on top of it. Hello, fly. Sorry, the fly is wanting to uh, photobomb the video here. Let's see. I'm just getting an idea of where I want to be placing these things. And my dogs decided they want to play. Okay, so I think that's where we're going to be going with it. Um, so yeah, I need to glue down the three next, and then the ice cream, and then the Tatum. And I, I don't mean glue, I mean dot, dot them down. Alrighty, so I'm, I'm actually going to put the dots on the back of the three this time, um, because it is much skinnier than the rest of my stuff, and because I don't need anything down here. So just to make sure that they're going where I want them, I'm going to put them on the three. Okay. And again, peel off the backs. Fly? Do y'all have as much problems with flies as we do here? I live in Texas and it's like flies are just trying to take over. Okay. Yay, man, we are getting there. This is going to be so cool. And it's got its dimensions over here. All right. Now, where you're going to have a little bit of an issue is you are only gluing this to the three. You're not gluing it to the to the pink layer um, so you've got to be real precise with where you put your fly not where you put your fly where you put your dots so I'm getting a good eye on where I can put dots and I know I cannot put dots above this scoop of ice cream and I cannot put dots anywhere at the top. Okay. But I can put dots all over the bottom. And these are where the little tiny dots really come in handy for your small objects. Let's see, can I squeeze another one in there? Okay. I'm just positioning to see if I've got this Good. Okay, I can put another dot right about here. And because I'm sticking this straight to glitter, I'm using a lot of dots. Um, I, I really want it to stick well. I don't want this falling off onto the cake, you know, when they're singing happy birthday and blowing out candles and stuff. And I guess I'm going to skip the... Uh, sprinkles because I didn't put them on that's okay it's still cute and I might still come back and put them on later okay sorry I'm probably moving it out of your viewing area I'm just trying to get it to where I can get a good no 
maybe if I pick it up. Okay. There it is, yes. Okay. So it's on there. Okay. Okay, so that's on there pretty good. All right. Just want to make sure it's not going anywhere. And I did stick one down to just the pink. I wasn't sure if that would look okay or not. Yeah, but it's going gonna, it's gonna to look great and it's going to hold it on there. Okay, now we need it on. And she can go... Um, Anywhere, she can go on the blue, she can go on the pink, she's gonna have to go on the pink. So you just put dots on her wherever. Okay, now we're gonna put on Tatum's name. And I am gonna start over here on the pink and secure it down to the pink and then just push and go and push and go Tatum's cake topper is almost done <laughs> sorry I know that was really corny okay so now I'm gonna heat up the hot glue and I'm just gonna put one stick on here because I used that one in the glue I'm just gonna glue this to the back and then you'll see how that just sticks into Tatum's cake and before I give it to Tatum, I will cut this off. Um, I don't know how I'm going to cut that off. Oh, you don't even see what I'm talking about. I will cut that dot off before I give this to Tatum. Um, don't make that mistake because I'm, I'm not exactly sure. I thought I would pull the back off, but now I don't know. I might get my X-Acto knife and just cut it. I don't know. I'll figure it out. Okay, I'm going to pause the video and heat up the hot glue gun. Okay. While I was waiting on my hot glue gun to heat up, I actually glued down the sprinkles um, to the top of the ice cream cone. So you can see that it's still a little um, gluey and wet, but it'll dry just like, you know, the Tatum, you don't see the glue on that now, but we obviously put it on there. <clears throat> okay, so now we're gonna put the stick on the back. So just turn your project over, take your hot glue, and put a good amount of hot glue on here. Come on, hot glue. There we go. Take your stick, put it in the glue. Careful not to burn yourself. And you wanna let it sit for a minute so that it hardens and <clears throat> connects to the stick. And I'm going to actually just add a little bit more to the side of the stick and let it kind of melt down into the glue that's already there. Because this is what is holding your cake topper onto your cake. Okay. My glue stick ran out. I would finish the other side. When you do it, finish the other side. I will do that later before I actually give this to Tatum for her birthday. Okay. So here it is, all complete. It's our 3D layers that we have. It's stuck to its glue stick on the back so we can put it in the cake. And that's it. Uh, if you have any questions, guys, just let me know. We'll see you next time. Thanks.